once the United States loses its lead in the R&D race, it is going to be very difficult to catch up. You know, we have been in the lead for the past 75 years and we have benefited from the advantages of that lead. So we need to make sure that we don't lose that lead and that we maintain a strong lead in R&D, which is important for our economic competitiveness, our growth, as well as our national security. Hi, I'm Sujay Shiva Kumar, Director and Senior Fellow for the Renewing American Innovation Project at CSIS. And I'm here to talk about my recent report with Charles Wessner and Thomas Howell. Investing in science and technology, the United States needs to up its game. Well, the United States is facing a challenge to its global leadership in science and technology that is actually more serious than it has confronted really since gaining that position after the Second World War. Within a relatively short span of about two decades, China has emerged as a major rival, mounting a concerted drive to dominate key technologies and increasingly matching or exceeding the United States in the resources that it's committing to this. At the same time, our Congress is bogged down in a protracted struggle over public spending and the role of government, and these have actually swamped our needs to make these investments in science, research, development, and education, which are all the foundations of our American economic strength, as well as our national security. So given the stakes of this competition, it's really jarring that in the space of just a few days in March of this year, the U.S. both failed to fund the science portion of the Chips and Science Act and implemented budget cuts for key federal science agencies. Meanwhile, the Chinese government increased its planned R&D spending by 10%. I think the big takeaway is once the United States loses its lead in the R&D race, it is going to be very difficult to catch up. You know, we have been in the lead for the past 75 years and we have benefited from the advantages of that lead. So we need to make sure that we don't lose that lead and that we maintain a strong lead in R&D, which is important for our economic competitiveness, our growth, as well as our national security. Today's policy discussions are all about how do we maintain our growth? How do we maintain our leadership position in the world? And all of these are underpinned by our leadership in science, technology, and innovation. So we need to keep our investments in those areas consistent and high and think long term in terms of how we strategize about our support for the engines that are leading our leadership position. So that's the key issue here. To read the full report, Investing in Science and Technology, the United States Needs to Up Its Game, please visit csis.org. <music>